good afternoon all. It's a Saturday, uh, about 31, 32 degrees, and I'm back out on another one of my walks. Uh, this time I'm back down in the Medway Towns in Kent. Uh, like I say, off out for one of my walks and an overnight wild camp. I've got a new tent. Uh, I love my Jack Wolfskin uh, Gossamer. Absolutely bomb proof, wonderful tent. But it's low profile and if it's raining or anything like that, you can't actually sit in it and cook in it. And it's hard to sit up on so. So I've just been out, treat myself to the Jack Wolfskin Gossamer too. So I brought that with me and I'm going to give it a try for the first time tonight. Let's see how we get on. Uh, got a lot more walking to do. So I found this handy little bench so I thought I'd sit down and tell you what today's little video is about. Uh, should get a nice, really nice sunset tonight overlooking the valley across the river Medway and with a bit of luck we've got a beautiful sunrise in the morning. Like I was saying, it's baking hot, absolutely baking hot. Uh, I've got two and a half litres of water for me besides my food, so but there is a cow up on the way, so I have to stop and get some beers. It is quite pleasant uh, every now and again. I'll get underneath the canopy of the trees and walk along. But that is, that's a hot one today. Definitely not complaining. Keep me fit, for nothing else. Well, this path's a little bit overgrown in places. <laughs> watch this thing in it also. obviously at the moment just wearing a t-shirt I don't want to get my arms all stung oh, that's a bit better it's widened up now always does that when I get the camera out and start filming <laughs> especially if I'm complaining about something there again I don't complain I love being outdoors Just gone underneath a, a motorway bridge. Uh, that's so much cooler. Whew. Yeah, a lot cooler when you get out that sun. Boy, does that sweat sting your eyes. Still part of the enjoyment, isn't it? Uh, I'm heading back up onto the North Downs Way uh, back to a park I haven't been to for quite a while so it'll be interesting to see how it's changed there but, uh, North Downs Way here I come that direction well at the moment I'm actually walking along this road here which is between uh, the M2 motorway on my left and the high speed rail link which is on my right hand side but besides the odd train that's gone past me and the rumble of the motorway traffic it's quite pleasant along here they're not busy so far so if you've seen any of my previous videos you'd know I'm not keen on walking on the roads but along here it's pretty cool nice scenery uh, and yeah oh, it's not that busy so oh they're pretty few miles to go yet so 
well it was about four weeks ago I made a video uh, where I headed for the North Downs Bay up on the top of that um, white chalk cliff over there I was heading for a, a burial chamber um, whether you've seen that one or not sure uh, but I took a walk along there to the Cauldron Stone Circle and Long Barrow but this time I'm on the North Downs Way again but on the opposite side of the river uh, uh, stunning beautiful scenery it's just that distant hum of the motorway traffic but can't have everything our way but yeah this is stunning Oh, that's nice once again. Get underneath the canopy of some trees. Out of that blazing hot sun. I don't mind the sunshine, but when it's baking, baking hot, it is nice to have a bit of a cool breeze and a bit of shade every now and again. It is nice along here as well, so well, since I've been out walking along North Downs by itself, I've only seen one person. Yeah, absolutely lovely. <laughs> Not that I mind seeing people, obviously, but it's just, it's nice when it's not too busy. That's a beautiful part. I love, I love walking the North Downs Way. Uh, some stretches of it are pretty hard going, but a lot of it is quite easy as well. So. But it's just coming up to six o'clock at night now. Like I say, I've seen one person. I had to put my hat on because of the sweat to help it stop running down into my eyes. Uh, uh, I'm not going to complain. Not complaining at all. Well, last time I was up around this part. I'm just approaching um, Waldham Common. Yeah, like I say, last time I was up around here, there'd been fly tippers along this road, and there was junk everywhere. But I'm happy to say at the moment, I haven't seen any. I know there was a case in the papers, I think it was about two years ago now, when a local fly tipper was actually caught on camera and find quite a few thousand pounds along here, so maybe that's deterred them a little bit. There's a nice little picnic area up here. Well, there was last time I was here anyway. It looks like they've cut down a lot of the trees where the old power lines there run. But yeah, as far as fly tipping goes, there's a bag of rubbish there. Uh, yeah, nothing drastic. Um, this bit here was chock a block, fridges and tyres and and that. Yeah, it's all bits from a, a shop or something. But yeah, it's all gone. And with a bit of luck in the little picnic area. That looked half decent as well. Oh no, rubbish on the floor again. Broken bottles and what have you. Yeah. Such a shame. So I've been out and treated myself the Jack Wolfskin Gossamer 2. So this is the two person version. 
um, as you can most probably see there it is a lot higher and a lot wider than the actual Gossamer one same sort of design you can have it freestanding as it is at the moment as just a giant bug net and the difference is, is this is white whereas my other Gossamer is a smoky colour but yeah it's it is a lot bigger pegs in. I'm looking forward to testing this one out tonight I really am so I've got my tent all pitched up it's gone up really nice actually nice and taut I uh, didn't use any extra pegs like I do on me Gossamer 1 I'm uh, quite impressed with this so far especially the size but as always, once the tent's up, got to have a beer. <laughs> and why not? It's absolutely very roomy inside. My Gossamer one, I can't sit up in. And if it's raining, obviously you can't cook in it. Whereas this one, this main reason I bought it, is because it's a metre high at that point. And you can quite easily open the mesh door if it's pouring down the rain and still cook inside and I can sit in it as well and there's a lot of storage here anyway get on with that beer cheers everybody so I've now put a few bits in my recipe uh, just show you the size of it as I'm unpacking I've got two cans of Budweiser over the back uh, two gas canisters besides me burgers, rolls bottles of water uh, my little drone there and everything to actually get to see roughly the size of it very roomy, a lot more roomy than I thought it was going to be yeah, first looks I'm thoroughly impressed I know it. So it's a robbed out um, burial mound sunk in the middle obviously where it's been robbed out and people have had fires and whatever in there uh, that's where my tent is pitched up <laughs> and I've actually set my troll camera up over there in a little hawthorn bush now it's pointing directly at my tent so I'm hoping for change I will actually see a rabbit or a fox or something just waiting for that sun to go down now <laughs> I've got burgers with me as always, I've got um, mega burgers actually from Aldi's. It's a super huge size. Got burger cheese and lettuce. Got eggs. And all my other bits and pieces. Obviously, my coffees. <laughs> always have me coffees. Got to have me coffee. Especially in the morning. But at the moment, I'm not even hungry. And it's about half eight at night, so. Like I say, just waiting for that sun to go down and hopefully we've got a lovely sunset. Let's wait and see. Well, the sun's going down. And that view really makes the trip worthwhile. Look at that. That is stunning.
so I'm sitting here <laughs> just outside my tent it's getting quite dark now I suppose you call it twilight So I've got my burger, uh, barbecue sauce, uh, burger cheese. <laughs> I've got some lettuce in there as well. I did bring an onion, but I can't be bothered to cook the onion now. I've got two of these mega burgers, it's all huge. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that, that's beautiful, that is. Well, good morning everyone. I had a really good night's sleep actually. I just got up. Sorry about the mess in the tent. <laughs> uh, I've got a special treat for myself this morning. I've got Nescafe 3 in 1 caramel. And I just put the water on to boil. And I'm going to have my first cup of coffee. And I just thought I'd let you know. It was a really, really good night. The tent was brilliant. And so is the weather. The sun's coming up. Well, the sun's up actually, I should say. But it looks like it's going to be a blinding day. What a beautiful place to wake up. I'm looking forward to the coffee though. Well, as I'm drinking my coffee this morning, I'm just striking my tent. Uh, just got the inner to take down there. I've got all my gear laid out over there, ready for packing. Yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. I'll tell you what, the, that tent is so wide. I think a tight squeeze, if you're skinny people, you can probably get three in there. <laughs> it's been a good little trip, this one, so far. A uh, little tip there for you. Something I like to do is with my pegs as I take them out. I stick them into the ground. Uh, near to my stove or near to something else. So I know exactly where they are. And because they're not laying flat on the ground. You don't kick them over and you see them easier. So it's just a little tip. <laughs> Always like to give a camping tip or two. Help other people out. Uh, anyway. Just got me that coffee and finished taking the tent down, packing up. Now I'll take a slow walk home, I think. Well, back to the train station anyway. So that's where my tent was last night. Left no trace, as always. And I've been round, I've collected my rubbish up. And when I got here, there was some rubbish up inside the, the burial mound there so I collected that up as well rucksacks all packed so I've got my rubbish in my rubbish bag and there was Morrison's donut thing from about a week ago in this naked bottle whatever it is and there's another bit of paper there that was all up inside the burial mound so some that have been here in the past week just left their rubbish there. Uh, just to let you know if you're watching this video, you can see I pick, picked the rubbish up for you. Try doing it yourself next time. Uh, just got to finish my coffee. And then I'm ready to make a move. <laughs> 